Okay, hi guys, Dino Kang again. It's been a while since I made a video. Okay, so for today's episode, I'll be talking about Tian Rasif and basically her her video on a click network with her friend Muna. So basically this one is um, about her speaking about uh, how her diet is weird uh, from a normal person's perspective and I can totally relate to that. Okay, so first off, let me start off by saying like roughly who I know her to be. So from what I know, she's a Singaporean um, fitness influencer. So she's pretty famous on Instagram as well. And why I like her is because she sounds so Singaporean, just like myself. So and she also has her own um, own fitness app called No Sweat that you guys should uh, definitely go and check it out. Because well, there are some simple programs that you can just get off there. Lah. Okay. Uh, that's not my point. I'm not here to advertise her. Basically, I'm here to give you my response to her video uh, with Muna speaking about the different kinds of foods that they actually tried. Okay, so uh, I watched the video in its entirety, but I think I got lost halfway. Okay, so the first few things that I want to cover, rather, I'm going to watch the video. And the first thing that they actually tried will be, you know, eating, basically it's eating healthy. Lah. So the first healthy food that they're trying is kiwi. And Tian, Tian Rasif, she, she said that uh, she actually eats the kiwi with the skin on. Okay, can I tell you from my perspective? Yes, I do think it's weird. Okay, no, there's uh, nothing bad about it uh, apart from it probably being dirty. But if you wash it clean, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so uh, my girlfriend eats the kiwi with the skin on as well. I have never ever eaten a kiwi with the skin on because I think I think it's weird. Lah. Like, like, I don't want to eat the furry part of it. Like, I, nev I never knew it could be eaten in the first place. Not to say that it is good or bad. Okay, so she's saying that all all the the benefits of eating the skin, right? I can tell you straight up, no, it the 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 kiwi itself is healthy enough. You don't have to eat the skin for added benefits. Okay, it's just skin. It's okay to eat, but it's not like there's gonna be additional benefit, just like the apple. Okay, yes, eating the skin has a little bit more fiber, but if it makes it more disgusting or weird, I'd rather not. Okay, personal preference to each his home, to each his own. Okay, so the next one is the particular one that I want to talk about. Will be the one where she's, uh, she's drinking celery juice. So this is the one that I want to make it very, very clear and also point out where she is incorrect in terms of saying that celery juice is actually a negative calorie food okay just to very just to be very clear uh when she mentioned like negative calorie foods and saying that you know you are burning more calories uh digesting that food than the calories you're actually consuming that is quite incorrect and she also brought up examples like carrots broccoli and cucumber so she's saying that these are examples of negative ca negative calorie foods just like celery Okay, so just let me give you guys a, a brief understanding of why it can be even negative calories or even, is it even possible? The idea of negative calories is that, yeah, like I mentioned, you burn more calories than you consume, which means it usually applies to, or rather people usually refer to very, very low calorie vegetables, like celery. Celery is the, is one of the most fibrous kind of um, vegetable if you look at it if you compare the leafy greens like kale and spinach versus a stalk of celery a stalk of celery is tougher so the the thermic effect of basically the energy you need to digest and break it down is likely going to be higher that is where people get this um, impression that oh you you can burn more calories from eating Salary, like you can burn more calories than the calories you're actually taking in from salary. Okay, let me just clarify that is not true. Okay, that is not true because regarding negative calorie foods, there is very little evidence of that even existing. First of all, very little evidence. Okay, so secondly, if we are talking about a vegetable salary, okay, 
it's a very very low calorie food and you use some of it for digestion so at best i can tell you this it is almost zero calorie virtually non-existent maybe five calories for whole stock or what but it's not going to be negative calories just just to be clear okay it's very very low calorie not negative calorie that's quite a big difference negative means past zero means if i eat a lot a lot a lot of salary it will force a weight loss which doesn't work that way okay okay so next point is this it wouldn't be such a stretch to say that salary itself the vegetable is negative calories it's more of a stretch to say that salary juice is negative calories because once you blend it the thermic effect the energy required to digest it physically is lowered because once you blend it it's easier to digest which is why um liquids liquid drink uh, uh liquid foods liquid foods tend to have a lower thermic effect let's say if you say oh protein has a high thermic effect they are not taking into consideration protein shakes protein shakes don't exactly have a very high thermic effect because it's liquid so if you were to compare chicken breast with a protein shake chicken breast is going to have a higher thermic effect okay because the bonds are stronger that you still need to break down physically by the stomach okay yeah so that being said the the negative calorie thing is not true okay maybe she doesn't know but i'm just telling you guys that that is where this whole term of negative calories come from not true Okay, if it were, I really hope it were it were true. Okay, I hope that it were true. I will be chugging salary every every chance I got. No, it doesn't work like that. But that being said, salary is a very healthy vegetable that you can eat all you want and you will not get fat. Okay, because it's virtually no calorie. It's so low on the calorie list. Okay, so next point where she actually mentioned that I feel like I have to really correct it is that she says that oh, it kickstarts your metabolism. All this negative calorie food kickstarts your metabolism. No, actually any food that you eat will kickstart your metabolism. I mean, if you're giving your body something to digest, you are raising the metab metabolism because that, that your thermic effect from zero goes to one or two right that is kick start your metabolism so these labels i know where they come from i am i'm explaining to you guys very simply why they are basically incorrect or just not very useful information okay next up then she talked about boiled chicken breast and how she likes the taste of plain boiled chicken breast i personally look it's great to eat it that way. I mean, it's it cannot get any cleaner in terms of protein and macros, but you really don't have to eat like that. Okay, I don't eat boiled chicken breast plain on itself. Eh, okay? like I'm a competitive bodybuilder myself in Singapore. I I don't do that because there isn't a real need for that. It's not about looking. Eh, it's not like okay, I can eat plain broccoli and plain chicken breast and it makes me more hardcore. No. If we are looking at it long term, we are looking at sustainability and how you don't feel like killing yourself from eating the same meal over and over again. Right? So it's, it's up to what you like to eat. So if she actually likes to eat plain chicken breast, then by all means, go ahead. Same like chicken, broccoli and rice, like her, her bodybuilder diet. And talking about um, chicken, I think she used chicken, raw, um, plain chicken breast, broccoli and raw eggs. So that combination, yeah, is extremely healthy because the macros are amazing, but it's not something that I would try. I it's not something that I would eat on a regular basis because I don't know, it's not very tasteful for, for my liking. La. So if I'm eating like if I'm eating fried chicken or having ice cream, I eat it quite often, quite often because you know it's sustainable for me. I just count how much I'm eating of which nutrients. So as long as that fits it as long as it fits your macros and have some you know have some veggies in there for fiber and your micronutrients you're good there are there are thousand and one ways to season your chicken breast and broccoli and ways to cook it to make it tasty it has to be tasty for me okay food is supposed to be tasty it's a big part of life's enjoyment like you shouldn't be torturing yourself when you're in a diet okay there are many ways to go about it okay 
Okay, so like uh, I also want to stand by what she said. Uh. I fully support her in saying don't hate it till you try it. Okay, many of my salads that I eat regularly, people will say, eh, why must eat salad? Eh, why must eat salad? Can I don't eat salad? I want to diet. I want to lose weight, but I don't. I, but I don't want to eat salad. Like, dude, have you even tried it? It tastes amazing. Like I eat it because I like it, not because I have to eat it. Right? Okay. So that's all for today. I hope you guys like what I put out today and. Give me a like and do remember to subscribe this video. Thank you.